Hello again, everybody. This is Pam Premiani. I wanted to show you today three gray wigs. I'm on a gray kick. Um, one, because it's something different. I'm getting tired of brown, blonde, red. Why not gray? And it has the added benefit of I don't have to do anything with my side hair because it matches. <laughs> I don't have to shave it off. I don't have to put any root cover on it. It just goes. You know, if the wind blows and you see my side hair, who cares? So this one was a really inexpensive wig. This is Gabor <laughs> Adoration in light gray. Now, they don't have a dark gray, so I don't know why they say light gray, because there's no dark, but uh, it only comes in maybe half a dozen colors, not a lot of color choices. Um, but this is a basic cap. I think I spent $55 on it, something in that nature. So, you know, you're well, well under the $100 mark um, if you can find a, a good sale. And it is a very comfortable stretch cap. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, your basic stretchy cap. Gabor is big head friendly. Yay. So here we go. The ear tabs are still not in the right spot for my larger than average head. It also has these cool little, like if you look at the side, little flip things going on here. I'm gonna give you a spin so you can see what the back looks like. Definitely a good buy. Um, if you're not into grays, it does come in an auburn, couple of browns, at least one blonde, if I remember correctly. So there's you know, other choices. Now, there is some permatease that you can feel up at the top. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe, maybe not. So as you put your hand here, it feels a little bird nesty. Uh, but hey, no one can see it. And it was very inexpensive. There's expensive wigs that you put your hand here and you can feel some permatease. So, you know, don't be afraid of a little permatease. You see it's very, feels very low density in the front. It's only here, well, a little bit here that you can feel it, but I think it looks pretty natural. It was a good buy and I might get another one in another color because it's still out. It's not discontinued or anything. You can still get it. It, you might find videos of this um, from, I think it was Home Shopping Network. Um, so if you're looking for a video on this and other colors, those are the videos you're probably gonna find on YouTube. So you will see those out there. I don't see a lot of um, people who are non-Home Shopping Club that are doing videos on this wig. But So I think this wig needs to get a little love from somebody other than the Home Shopping Network. I did not buy it from the Home Shopping Network. So keep it in mind, if you're looking for a gray wig, it's not old lady-ish in my opinion at all. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple more gray wigs. Now these two wigs I'm gonna show you, are like salt and pepper, they're both by the same manufacturer in the exact same color, but they don't look the same color. There's definitely a difference between the two. One is more yellow than the other. So this one that I'm holding in my hand is, let's see, Raquel Welch. Oh, I'm looking for it. Crushing on Casual in SS4460 Sugared Licorice. And the other one I'm going to show you is Raquel Welch Watch Me Wow, which is a long wig in the same color, SS4460, sugared licorice. But this one is much yellower than the other one. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. 
It's not showing up that well on camera. In person though, with them side by side, let me back up. <laughs> There's a difference um, in natural light with the color. I'm gonna put them both on. So you can see what they look like. Oh, I hate to take this cool gray one off. I love it so much. Now, I kind of styled this with some styling cream to make it look like Karen wants to speak to the manager. It doesn't quite come out of the box this way. It comes out a lot flatter, so you have to play with it. It has, does this have a mono crown? No, it has a mono top. So you can sort of play with it anywhere, um, but you're never really going to get a part out of this because, you know, it's... Well, I guess if you played with it enough and steamed it, you could actually get a part. But I like my hair poofier. Um, this kind of reminds me of I grew up in an Italian neighborhood. <laughs> like you couldn't tell from the way I speak. So I grew up in an Italian neighborhood and uh, all of my friend's mothers had hair like this. <laughs> in my, in the Italian neighborhood. Now that's not to say that this looks like an old lady wig. I don't think so, but they all kind of had the same salt and pepper haircut because you know, when you're of Italian descent, uh, especially Southern Italy, you tend to have dark hair. Anyway, <laughs> so I am not of Italian descent actually. I grew up in the neighborhood, but I am of uh, German, Dutch, and actually Spanish and Portuguese descent. What else? Oh, and British. Okay, what a mishmash. <laughs> I'm just a mishmash. Anyway, my original last name is Fry, F-R-E-Y. Um, and the Fries came from Switzerland. So that's where I'm from. People assume I'm Italian because I talk like my friends growing up. I just pick up the accent from them. So I'll give you a spin in this one. I like this one for the summer. I've been on a long hair kick now though. This is also good for if a little bit of your bio hair shows here and you're gray, naturally gray. It doesn't show, you don't have to worry about shaving everything back. I have a really low hairline. I get hair practically growing into my forehead. It's ridiculous. So this one is still current production. You can still find this, comes in a lot of colors, but the stock photo usually has this color, which is what attracted to me to it because it was just so unusual. Well, this is kind of sticking straight up. Maybe I need to do something about that next time, next time I wear it. Here is the other one. Now, I had had my eye on this one for a long time. This is Raquel Welch, Watch Me Wow. It has a mono crown right here. The only part that's mono is up here. Um, everything else is like a basic cap. Now this came out of the box, even though it doesn't have a part, uh, like a mono part, it comes out of the box with sort of a part on this side. I left it, even though I'm not a left part kind of woman, I did leave it. I kind of sprayed my bangs up a little bit. I like a little lift. It does have a lace front, which as all Raquel Welch wigs are, their lace fronts are fantastic. Um, if you're looking for a really good lace front, Raquel Welch is probably the best. Gabor is pretty good too, but Raquel Welch is known for their very natural looking lace fronts. So this was the wig that I was a little afraid to buy because in reviews, people said that the cap was a little snug, snugger than average. Um, I do find that the ear tabs are a little short, but you know, not that bad. My ear tabs are all short. Um, I was expecting worse. I actually held off buying it for a while because I was afraid. Um, but then I didn't want to get a large because then I'll have a cap that's too large and have to alter it. So I didn't want to do that, but I'll give you a spin in this. Raquel 
really fabulous wig. This is not the gray hair of our mothers and grandmothers. This is very, very sleek. Look at this color. I'm gonna bend this forward so you can see it a little bit better. Beautiful, beautiful color. Um, it does, in the stock pictures, appear very black and you don't really see a lot of the white in the photographs, but it's very like a silver color. It's actually very, very dark brown with lots of gray highlights. So I definitely recommend this. And next time I will show you some more of my haul. Um, for now, I'll sign off and uh, I think I'm going to wear this one today. Bye-bye till next time.